everyone, it's Jenna from Secondhand Promised Land here to show you my third yard sale haul for 2017. This haul is from the last two weeks of July. I'd say it's about a medium sized haul. I did spend more than I normally do, but I did get a couple of bigger items. So the first item that I'm going to show you is this Cuisinart enamel covered cast iron pot. I paid $10 for it. It's very heavy. Um, and I thought that was a really good deal because I think they're expensive retail. And I know that at a local online auction, I used one very similar to this sold for $45. So I thought $10 was a good price and I'm actually going to send it to the same online auction to see if I can get a similar price to it. The next item I got is also cast iron. I got this really cute cast iron mousse. I just love the detail on it. I got it at a yard sale that I think was, the owners had a store that was going out of business because they had a lot of similar items and they did say that this one they usually sell for $20. So I did try to get them down in price um, from the $10 price tag, but they wouldn't budge. So I thought it was cute enough for $10 and I thought it would just be perfect for my parents' rustic theme living room. The next items that I got were also moose themed. I got these really cute moose cookie cutters for 50 cents. They're brand new. And my actually my dad's turning 60 next year and we're probably going to have like a moose themed party for him. So I thought that maybe I could make some moose shaped cookies for him for the party or something like that. Um, and for 50 cents, I thought that was a good deal. The next item that I bought, surprise, surprise, more milk glass. I got this vase and this one at the same sale. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you've probably seen this one before and one very similar to this one as well. Um, I bought some maybe like a year or so ago and I ended up selling them so that I could have some extra money for school. Just, I needed some more money to pay for textbooks. And I found out after I sold them that my mom really, really loved them. And they were mine, so I did have the right to sell them, but um, I felt kind of bad because she really liked them. So ever since I've been searching for them, and I finally found them. So they were $2 each, which is more than I like to pay for milk glass. Um, but I thought paying the $4 in total was pretty good to see my mom's priceless face. <laughs> she was very excited, so I thought that was a good deal. The next item that I got was this picture frame. Um, it was $2, and I just really like the detail on the top, as well as the cute little feet on the bottom. I think I might put this in my bedroom because I might actually do a French country theme in my bedroom. I'm not sure yet. Kind of still trying to figure that out, but I thought for $2 that was a good deal. And again, normally ones like this are at least $10 brand new, so I was pretty happy to get that. The next items that I got were a set of Pyrex Fridges. I love Pyrex Fridges. I rarely find them at yard sales though, and if I do, they're usually in really rough shape. These ones though, I've never seen ones like these, and I'm assuming they're from the 70s just based on their color or maybe the 80s, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they were 25 cents each, so I couldn't say no to them. I don't know if I'm gonna sell them or keep them for myself, because I do collect Pyrex. Um, but 50 cents for the whole set, it's a really good deal. The next items that I got were glass candy dishes. And I got this one at a yard sale. I paid 50 cents for it, which I thought was really good. I really like the top of it. And I like that it also has these cute little feet on them. I might put it in my living room or I might put it in my bathroom. I'm not sure yet, um, but I thought for 50 cents, that was a good deal. 
And then a couple of yard sales later, I ended up finding this beauty. Now this one I think is actual crystal. Um, it's very heavy. Uh, I love the top of it and I just love the circular shape. Um, I paid $5 for it, which is more than I like to pay. Again, I'm so cheap, I know. Um, but I did find one very similar to this at a, uh, actually a thrift store yesterday, but it was a lot smaller and they're asking $12. And honestly, if it's crystal, $5 I think is a good price. This one, I think I'm actually gonna put this in my bathroom and I might put maybe like cotton balls in it or something like that. Um, so I'm not really sure yet, but I'll figure it out for $5. It's pretty. The next item that I got it's very big. I got this light. It's brand new in the box. They're asking 20 for it. And it was actually, we were the first customers because my dad and I get up super, super early because we're hardcore. And um, they're asking the 20 and we got it for 15, which I thought was really good because normally if you're the first ones or if you're really early, people don't like to barter with you because they think that somebody's gonna pay the full price for it later on. Um, so the $15, I was really excited for that because normally they're at least 50 to 100, maybe even more. And I've been looking for a new light to put in my bathroom. So I'm actually, I'm redoing my new bathroom because as you some of you guys know I moved recently and my bathroom is going to be a mixture of new items and secondhand items so if you want to see the final result when I'm finally done let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up and I will do a bathroom tour video for you guys. Now the next item that I have is actually downstairs, so I'm probably gonna insert a photo after this. Um, but I got a set of tables for the living room, and it was on the estate sale. They were asking $12 for the pair, which I thought was a really good price. And then later on, they actually gave it to me for $10 without me even saying anything, and I already thought that $6 per table was really good. Um, so I was really excited about that to add to my living room. Now I'm also redoing my living room um, and my bedroom. So if you want to see videos of those as well, because it's going to be another mixture of secondhand and new, let me know. Those ones might take a little longer though, unfortunately, because I'm going to be starting school again in a couple of weeks. So everything's going to get slowed down then. But um, yeah, let me know if you want to see any of that. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll have more to come in the next week or two for you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.